struggling to help senior citizens in the Roanoke Valley. The local office on aging says is having a hard time serving meals to seniors in need. Ten News reporter Patricia Martellotti explains the problem and how you can help. My son in law beat us in rain while I was in the hospital. 61 year old Jerry Ferguson is wheelchair bound. I had a bad stroke. Since then, his wife took care of him until three years ago. She passed away from uh, uh, cancer. Ferguson says he's not sure what he would do if it weren't for local office on aging volunteers who deliver hot meals to his home. Good morning. Good How morning. are you? What does it mean to you to receive a meal from LOA? Oh, uh, it, it means a whole lot. During the past year, LOA served more than 800 clients like Jerry, which is about 60 fewer clients. Well, the past couple of years, I would say the greatest uh, deficiencies we've had, we've had to decrease uh, the, the number of bag meals, which would be holiday meals. In addition, the local agency had to decrease the number of nutritional supplements for high risk clients. Our nutrition supplement like Insure, Glycerna, we've had to decrease that about 50% because uh, the federal uh, government no longer considers that an eligible meal. In light of these struggles, CEO Ron Boyd hopes to raise $90,000 for its annual fundraiser, Let's Do Lunch. We're real excited about our fundraiser. It's going to be in a new location over on Peters Creek Road. Uh, we're hoping uh, to sell, last year we sell, sold just shy of 3,200 so we're hoping to up that up to 3500 this year. Boyd says if the fundraiser is successful, it will allow LOA to increase its services to clients like Jerry. In Troutville, Patricia Martellotti, 10 News, working for you.